I'm Rebecca Valcarcel, and I just came back from Spain walking 12 days of the Camino de Santiago from Astorga to Santiago de Compostela. And I wanted to talk about rain gear and what I finally went with for myself. Very personal decision, but here's some of the thinking that went into my decision, and I'll let you know what I ended up with. Um, first, I just got a plain old jacket and I really like this jacket it's super lightweight it has this adjustable part on the back here for the hood it has a nice little bill it's by outdoor research it only weighs six and a half ounces or 186 grams it's really light it has a small pocket here at the chest um, I, it's it's pretty great and I do use it at home all the time it also packs up super small uh, that would be very handy on the trail. Um, however, I didn't use this jacket, um, partly because I knew that my backpack would go on top of the jacket and then rain would still uh, soak my straps, uh, the backpack straps, and, and water can actually travel down into the bag, into the backpack. So if it's really a hard rain especially, um, you know, the backpack will get wet. Uh, now, of course, people carry pack covers, but it doesn't cover the straps. Um, and then some people will make sure that their bag has a liner inside, that either a dry bag or you know a system of dry bags inside, or a liner that will protect everything in the pack. Uh, but then water does weigh a lot, and so if your whole pack is wet, or um, maybe you have a cover, but then just the straps are wet, and and there's you know. You might have a system that works just fine, um, but I didn't want a wet pack that was heavy. I didn't want wet straps that might kind of make other things wet. Uh, so yeah, I didn't go with the jacket after all. Another thing about um, the jacket is that I wouldn't be able to take it off while walking. So you're walking along, chugging along, you wanna take that jacket off and you're really exerting, maybe going up some steep places or down some steep places, it's almost like doing your exercise routine with a jacket on. Um, so, and the humidity of um, uh, the, the, you know, exercising and the humidity, it uh, is, can create a lot of sweat. So I wanted to be able to remove the jacket or have more ventilation without getting my pack off. Uh, or, it, I mean, you could unzip at least, but I just felt like a jacket was gonna tie me into the pack a little too much. Most people do wear jackets, by the way, so I'm different in this, but I decided I didn't want to do a jacket. So then what did I do? I bought this lovely um, Altus um, rain poncho, and it does squinch down pretty small, as you can tell. However, it weighs kind of a lot, uh, 335 grams or 11.8 ounces. So, oh my gosh, that's getting, you know, kind of close to a pound. But what's very cool about it, as I unwrap it here, um, is that it goes over the pack. So you don't need a pack cover because you're covering the pack with the poncho. It does have a bill. Um, I like to wear a hat underneath even this to give me more protection, especially since I wear glasses. Um, it has ways to adjust the hood here on either side. Um, and let me just show you, even if I have my backpack on, I took a super small, light backpack. Um, this is, I have another video about it, but um, just to demonstrate, the Altus does go, it has sleeves with elastic, which I really like, um, and it does go over the entire pack. You can... Imagine that this takes a little time to put on um, and the wind can be a problem as well. Um, but it does work great as far as going on on top of the pack. There's a little extra fabric there that's made for this purpose. <laughs> so the Altus is great. Um, it's really popular on the Camino. And I thought this would be my, my final solution. It's also really long, um, on me anyway, and I'm kind of short, like five feet, but it goes below my knees, really to my shins. So that's a fair amount of protection. It has a zipper, 
and as well uh, Velcro uh, closure so you don't have to do the full zipping if you don't want to. Um, yeah, it's pretty great, but it's not what I ended up with. All right, so here's what I actually took on the Camino, and I was really happy with it. Um, the Altus is a little bit expensive, by the way, um, and I had to get it from overseas. I want to say Germany. So it's pretty great, and I think if I were doing a longer Camino, like I only did the 12 days, maybe I would go ahead and take this because it's really perfect. However, the weight uh, was a discouraging thing for me. So I was looking around for a more lightweight thing, you know, that would work, uh, that would do a lot of the same things. Now, a plain old poncho, like the super, you know, dollar store poncho, um, also goes over the pack, obviously. But without sleeves, it's really blowy and wavy. Um, and if it's not windy, it's fine. Um, I saw plenty of pilgrims that just had a plain old poncho, really cheap, really light, almost disposable because, you know, when you're done with the Camino, you, it doesn't even have to last really well because it only costs you, you know, $3. <laughs> so a lot of people like that option, but the sleeves are so much uh, more handy. And I felt like the, uh, just an open poncho, it has great ventilation, um, but I, I didn't want it to be blowing all over the place. Um, yeah. And also taking off one of those ponchos, I feel like I get a lot of myself wet in the process of taking it off because there's no good way to take off a poncho. It has to go over your head and, um, pretty soon, you know, all the rain on it is all over you. So, eh, yeah. So I was looking for yet another option. And what I settled on was a giant jacket from Frog Togs. And you might not know the brand Frog Togs, or maybe you do. They sell a lot of like fishing and hunting equipment. It's super cheap. This cost me $5 on Amazon. And um, this might not work for you because of your like size and whatever, but um, this jacket is an extra large men's Frog Tog. Um, so if you uh, are familiar at all with frog, frog tugs. It has this kind of almost felty, tissue papery inside lining. Um, it zips. It has a hood. It has the hood adjusters. It's very lightweight. It only weighs 6.5 ounces, which is 185 grams. So this is way lighter than the Altus. The Altus being if you remember, almost 12 ounces, right? And this is half that, or just about half that. Um, and it still has sleeves, um, and it's going to be big enough to go over my pack because it's that big. So it's just made for a very big person. <laughs> and it is super long in the sleeves for me. You know, I have all this, right? But that made it more um, ventilated. It actually was nice to have the giant, like all the room. So you can see it does go over the backpack, just like the Altus, but it's $5 and it weighs half as much. <laughs> I can still zip. I can have it open, unzipped, but my pack is protected. Um, I just loved it. I did the, the hood is a little less complicated than other fancier jackets, but for $5, <laughs> what can you say? I put a hat underneath it, so I had a brim, and this worked great. Another thing I was able to do, I called it my Frodo look. Um, you can take your arms out of the sleeves and just have it sort of as a cape. It was like my elvish cape here, and of course with my hat, I might even tie the hood. And then I had my pack still protected, but I had a lot of ventilation here. Because what happened in Galicia is that it didn't just like pour all the time. It actually would just rain for an hour and then it would be drizzly and then it would stop and then it would be drizzly again. And so I needed to be flexible. Instead of having to take off my pack to put on and off a jacket, I could just unzip, zip, 
uh, do my little cape thing. Uh, I could, you know, if I took my arms out, I could keep doing my trekking poles. Um, I just loved the flexibility of uh, this $5 super light, ultra light um, jacket. So that turned out to be the solution for me, just a giant jacket. Um, might not work for everybody, depends on you know your own stature and what's available, but um, that, that was what I did for my Camino and it was, it was great. I realized too that you can change uh, your mind along the way. It's easy to buy a poncho. Um, you can also buy a jacket. Um, you can try out what works for you and, and like refine your system <laughs> as you're walking. Um, but whatever you decide, have a lovely Camino and definitely go. If you're thinking of going, make, make the time, make the, make the commitment to just make the day come when you take that first step because it, it's just such a great experience. Okay, good luck with your Camino. Buen Camino, everybody.